a quick follow-up video to my previous Super Unity build video. I will show you how to upload to itch.io directly from this extension. Right, so if you remember from the last video, we added this post build action, upload itch. So from here, click on it, click on add, and then you have this additional button here. Uh, what I didn't do was configuring it, so it was failing, and also I realized I didn't have Butler installed. Butler is um, a command line tool to uh, for you to upload builds to itch, upload your games to itch. So let's double click on this, actually single click on this, expand this panel, and you can see there are some settings here. Now before we do this, let's go to the page about Butler. So this is the thing you need to upload to itch.io without using the website. So uh, install Butler, installing Butler, what I did was I have, um, I installed the itch app. It's quite a nice app where you can download games. Um, you can sort of use it as uh, the browser version of itch. And once you have that installed, you'll have Butler installed. So that's that's a fairly simple process. And once you have that installed, uh, know that the Butler file is going to be in your library application support edge bin folder. Okay, so after you have that installed, come back to Unity. And then in your super Unity build, path to Butler executive file, executable, Butler file. Uh, you can click on this button here and then find your file or uh, it's most likely just going to be somewhere here. All right, so username, library application support, itch bin, butler. And then you enter your login name and the name of the game. After that, another thing you need to do is you need to log in to butler. Now, this requires you to use uh, this command line, this command in the uh, in, in terminal. So you open up terminal and you simply type in Butler login. Then you authorize Butler. And that's it. You can close this page. Now you're logged in. From there, you can perform all enabled builds. And then once the build is created, it will start uploading to Butler. All right, so that's done for our new build here. Lots of photos, but yeah, there's our file. And go back to itch.io, and I'm just gonna refresh this page. And this is just the page for me to set up my game see that now I have a new game that's uploaded today at 10.09 which is a minute ago and it's uploaded from an OSX machine so it's great so it's all done for you uh, with just a click of a button so that's fantastic now the only thing I forgot to mention was you uh, in after you've installed the itch app you want to add Butler to your path what this allows you to do is to be able to find, to use the Butler command anywhere, um, anywhere uh, in, in your terminal app. So you don't have to go to this particular folder in order to, um, to use Butler. And I would say just follow the instruction here. And so if you're on Mac OS, this is what you do, you edit this file here. And this is sort of a, a separate topic, so I won't really cover it, but remember to do that um, so that you can log into uh, Butler. Great, so that's pretty much it.